what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's probably going to be my last reaction for the year um but it is what it is i didn't want to wait until next year to do this um even though i know i was not supposed to be doing reactions right now but i did promise you guys that i would try to get this out as soon as possible so that's what we're doing right yeah <laughs> alrighty so um just so you guys know man i am trying to get to the point where um next year we're gonna get back on schedule and everything um but talking about attack on titan last episode we kind of got to know um a little bit more about who reiner is and his background a lot more you know we were cheering so much for his demise <laughs> and now you kind of feel a little sorry for him i mean really and truly we should have some empathy towards aliens and just in general they've just been dealt a bad hand since inception really you know what i'm saying but but really at the same time A girl does this all the time man she waits until I, I know you guys are probably not hearing what I'm hearing but wait until I start recording then you choose to come vacuum stuff you know what I'm I, I'm just like <laughs> you know I, I give up you know sometimes I'm just like ah uh, it's whatever uh I'll just wait anyways okay seems like she's done <laughs> anyways um yeah so we've learned a lot about Reiner and I'm very empathetic empathetic towards him because um he's been dealt a bad hat man he, he was you know what I'm saying his goal you know kind of clashed with what he wanted he didn't really care who he destroyed to and th these kids were so brainwashed into thinking that oh we got we gotta fight but it, but the thing about it is this man we are where i said like the brainwashing goes so far in this anime to the point where you just gotta sit back and be like really like you guys they they give you the power and they still can oppress you it it it, it just does not sit well with me it just in some ways it's just unbelievable the level of brainwashing that happens in this anime like the the level of it is just off it's it's just it, it's off the chain ridiculous but at the same time i'll need to fix my screen but i'm not about to do that right now anyways we're gonna jump in we're gonna watch this episode season four episode four is here we got to see aaron um, at the end of the episode, what he looks like now, looks like an old man. He's missing a leg and an eye. <laughs> like, what is going on with, with Aaron, man? Like, they just going to just throw that at us. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what happened? How did he lose a leg and an eye? Like, you know what I'm saying? And he's, he's the one thing I like about Aaron's demeanor in that final scene there was his, uh, um, I like about it. He was very calm in what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the usual Aaron that we are used to. It's the Aaron that we saw at the end of season three. That calm and collected. Know what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get this done. And I think the whole perspective on anything. I think, in my opinion, I think that they're trying to rescue the Eldians. Because they're Eldians too. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that should be the ultimate goal for Aaron and them. Is to rescue the, the aliens from this oppressive rule that they've been under for all this time i think that should be the goal not necessarily i think that's going to be the end game of things um listen i'm not predicting the story but i can have predictions okay i i i think that um at least this is where i would like to see it go but they've surpassed my expectations a long time ago for this anime or this story in general so <clears throat> i have 
really nothing to say but I would love to see, you know what I'm saying, if they could talk them into waking up. You know what I'm saying? Get them to wake up like Reiner and, you know what I'm saying? I know you probably could never con convince Zeke. But Reiner, I think, is one of them that he could, they could convince to come to their side to fight. You know what I mean? So, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you guys so much. See you guys for the review. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the review for episode four, season four, Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyuki Kyujin, Kyujin, or whatever. I didn't pronounce that, but this was an awesome episode, man. Love how they ended it. I just took a chance and watched because I don't usually watch the endings, but I looked at the time and I was like, oh, it looks like there's something after. Um, because the way I might think. I think kind of segregate things sometimes for certain for some files um when I get them it usually separates it by what's happening when the intro comes in when it ends when the ending comes in when it ends so I saw that there was some more extra there and I was like oh let me see what's happening here maybe it's just a preview maybe it's not um and it was and usually when you see um credits roll in anime when you see credits roll before um like while people are talking and stuff like that still it usually means there's gonna be something after an end credit scene maybe you know what i'm saying usually that's what happens i've seen it so many times and if you watch enough anime it is what it is <laughs> anyways so let's talk about the episode man we learned a lot um aaron met his grandfather and he looks like he's in the nut house doesn't look like he looked like he's in the hospital I think it's for, I think he's in the nut house. Um, if you remember correctly, wasn't he there to meet, um, to meet Zeke when he, when he came back from the war? I'm pretty sure in episode two, we saw him hug two people. Pretty sure of it. So, so damn, Zeke never married or nothing. He just, you know what I'm saying? I, I could get it though. I mean, they don't live for that long. So what, what's the sense of getting married or meeting anyone anyways? Um, so yeah, man, I see Aaron meeting his grandfather. What he was saying was talking about like, you know, it seems like he's talking about himself from what he was talking about. So, <laughs> so Aaron is like, seems like you're talking about yourself there, man. But the warning that he gave him about Falco, you know what I'm saying? Sending Falco out to deliver those letters, telling him to stop. Because you never know, he might get caught and they got to kill him. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. That's the thing. Marlians, they don't play, man. And now, you know, we, we got the Tybors now coming over with the Warhammer Titan. I'm still a little fuzzy on the knowledge about them and, you know, the explanation behind, you know, what their part, not necessarily in this is. Um, I'm still not sure if they're Eldians or not, to be honest. Um, it was just kind of confusing the wording of how they describe it during the, the, the mid mid episode screen there um, So I'm still a little fuzzy on that knowledge, but if it's something that's gonna be explained later on in the show um, You know or you know you guys don't have to explain it in the comment section because sometimes some things are borderline spoilerish and I don't want to be spoiled especially with attack on Titan I'm begging you guys not to spoil me about the show. As a matter of fact, I'm not even really reading the comments for it um, that comes onto this show right now. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really paying attention to it. If I glimpse it and it looks good, then I'll, you know, leave you, you leave a heart on that comment if I like it or whatever. But I'm not really paying attention because I don't want anybody to make the mistake. I'm not saying you guys will spoil it. I'm just saying you might make the mistake of mentioning something you're not supposed to mention, okay? So, if it's something you know that I will get a better understanding of about these Tybors, um, you don't need to type anything about it. Don't explain it to me, okay? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so at the end there, Aaron pulled up. I think, that, like, like I said, I don't like how they just gave the Eldians a festival 
know what I'm saying? And I don't like it, man. The Marlians are not that generous, man. And, and and that's the thing about it. It's like nobody is nobody is questioning that. Like I would be questioning that, bro. They don't like y'all. The way how they talk. There is no way that somebody that talks so openly of the hate and call me disgusting and dog and all kind of all kind of derogatory, ugly words and statements and stuff like that. And then I'm going to eat from that person? Are you crazy? I don't understand how nobody questioned that. I'm not eating nothing from that festival. I'm sorry. That's just me. But I would never eat anything from that festival. That's just crazy to me that they just jump right in. But they are kids. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can't really blame them. But Reiner was paying for the food. He didn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody just jumped and be like, oh, we just woke up and just, it's a festival. Let's eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, regardless of if it was done for good intentions or not, it was still a bit sketchy to eat from the people that hate you so much. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say anything during the episode because I, I, I you know what I'm saying? Um, I got to jump off of this and jump on stream. And I didn't want to talk too much during the episode as longer I would take to. Because I, I should have started the stream like a half an hour ago. But Aaron pulling up at the end of the episode to Reiner. Um, really, really, really. I like that. He said Falco is like, yo. He came down, he even hesitated. He's like, what's going on, Ryder? It's been four years, Ovi. What's good? We almost got you that time. You remember? <laughs> we almost got your ass like Berthold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he, Ryder recognized him immediately. Immediately he recognized him. So, um, so yeah, those were the two things I wanted to talk about in the episode. I still don't know if willie is the one that is the titan shifter i'm not sure because he's like can you tell who it can't be him because he's been around for too long or it could be because they could have switched recently uh, i mean he was trying to get him to guess who he thinks the warhammer titan is but you can't really tell based off of just looking at someone you know what i'm saying um, you can guess, but you can't really tell who's a Titan Shifter or who's not a Titan Shifter because they just look like they're regular selves unless they just came out of Titan form. You can tell by, you know, the, the lines in their eyes or something. Like, that's the only telling trait um, about a person. Like, and that has to happen, like, literally right after you, you come out of Titan form. So, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys can't wait for next week's episode because i want to hear this conversation i want to hear this conversation it's gonna be fire love you guys man thank you guys for tuning in you guys have been showing some some great support on the the, the on the attack on titan videos and i really do appreciate that for everybody that's here if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel man i'm giving you guys free content out here you know what i'm saying free content man free full reactions man who else who else on youtube is doing this nobody is man come on man maybe another person i don't know but i i'm 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 the one i'm the one whatever i'm just talking a bunch of crap right now for no reason anyway thank you guys so much leave a like leave a comment i will catch you guys for the next one i'm excited for episode five man peace